Hey, you can easily print all sorts of uh, stickers, including FBA stickers and labels to any thermal printer, uh, Dymo, Zebra or Zebra. Uh, and I'll show you three ways of doing this. Now, important thing to note is that the first two ways are very similar then, and the third one is very different. And you need to know all three ways because uh, they will give you advantages and in certain situations one way will be much better for you than the other so you need to know all three so let i'm gonna first quickly give you an overview so let's get started uh, this is an overview and then i'll make two more videos in which i will discuss uh, troubleshooting the issues that you might have while uh, printing it and the third video will be about actually labels what la labels to use in what situations what not to use and about the codes that are used um, to uh, describe the labels. So um, there, it's a bit tricky with Dymo labels. There are different numbers, at least three different uh, codes uh, uh, that you find uh, while looking for those labels. So I will explain that in detail. So let's get to printing. So you go to inventory. So you can click here or click here. It's the same thing. And you go to your inventory. And now once you have the uh, merchandise you want to print labels for you click here and you've got two options so the first one is send replenish inventory and the second one is print item labels and they're very similar um, but let me go first over this one send replenish inventory by the way I already have a video about this um, you can watch it in detail uh, links in the corner somewhere here probably or here um, so if you click on it you will go to a page and then after a few clicks you will arrive at a page like this uh, you will see the, the items you have chosen and the numbers in this method you only need one you can choose 50 200 but one is enough and then you choose this again 40 13 us letter if you're printing on a4 printer uh, with a thermal printer it's a bit different but I usually choose this one 40 and if I need smaller 44 and if I need bigger I might go for 27 or 24 but usually this one is good enough for me the the 40 uh, that's the, the size that I use most most often and I explained this in my previous video so then you click on print labels for this page and you get something like this uh, it's a PDF, so Amazon will produce PDF. You open it and you get a page like this. You can open it in any uh, Adobe Reader or Adobe, Adobe Pro. I'll make it bigger so it's easier for me. Now, if you highlight it just like this, it's no good. It's not going to help you. If I go to print, you see there isn't much I can do with it. So what I need to do, I need to go to, not file, but to edit menu. Take a snapshot and now uh, I'm going to take a snapshot. I can have a bit of a margin or I can make it really tight, doesn't really matter. You need to experiment what works for you. And now Control P or print and I get this uh, this menu. Now above the label you have the exact dimensions of the label and it's important to understand it and I will explain it uh, more uh, in the video about the labels and troubleshooting. Um, now you choose actual size usually is best but fit might be better in your case again uh, you might also experiment with this depending on what labels you have um, here obviously you have selected graphics i've got this option because i took a snapshot so it's working for me you need to have that uh, here otherwise uh, you might not get the results i'm getting now go to page setup and choose your label size uh, there are different size of labels. They come uh, here with the driver for uh, with your uh, thermal printer. Now those numbers, as I mentioned, they're not always uh, easy to find. And I'll uh, talk about this with in the labels videos, how to find those numbers, uh, uh, because the, finding them manually, it's a bit of a pain uh, in the neck. So once you have it, you just click OK and you can print. Now, if you print labels smaller than th this one, uh, with this one I recommend as well but 
uh, especially with smaller than this, anything smaller than this, you need to increase uh, the quality of the print. So you go here and if you choose here barcodes and graphics instead of text, your menu can be a bit different. So you might need to find something like barcodes or DPI increase from 300 to 600. And uh, maybe you need to uh, choose the photo quality, for example. So your menu might be a little bit different, but roughly the same, you'll figure it out. Uh, and then obviously you click OK. Sometimes you might get this menu as well, which will allow you to choose some uh, options as well and make it more precise. But usually you don't need to change it. As you can see, 600 DPI uh, can make it smaller, but I really want 600. Um, so you click OK and then print and that's it, you're done. The, the printer will print and if you want more labels, obviously you type here however many labels you want, whether it's 200 or 5000, doesn't matter, it will print for you. So that's method number one. Okay, method number two, very similar. So again, you can go to print item labels and you can do it here or you can also go to inventory manage FBA inventory and now you will only see your FBA inventory and that is uh, useful uh, because you can focus on your FBA inventory only and the menu is a little bit shorter as well so you click on print item labels and as you can see uh, you get exactly the same menu as on the other page yeah so before we had the same menu it looks a little bit different but it's exactly the same choices Again, print uh, labels, but this time you only can have one item and here number, number of labels to print, one is enough. And you click print item labels. Again, you will download a PDF, uh, which will look something like, uh, let me see, I think it's this one, yeah? And same, exactly the same thing as before. Make it bigger, make sure that you choose, take a snapshot, highlight what you want, control P, and here we go, same process okay so now let's go to method number three method number three is now different it's got some advantages and disadvantages so let me talk about this what you do you have two options you can either go from this menu you can click on scan and ship or you can go to inventory manage FBA shipments and you also have scan and ship so I'm gonna click on it and I've got this page and this page is has been designed to work with scanners and if you can see uh, you can paste here an ISBN EN or EAN number I call it EN or SKU or SKU as some people call it um, now you can see there is no go button or done uh, this is because if you scan it with a scanner so you need to with a scanner you need to have already labels printed before and then when you scan it, uh, the scanner will uh, trans, uh, translate the barcode into the letters and numbers and it will paste it here. But also what it will do, uh, it will put the enter at the end. So as if you press the enter, uh, that's why there is no enter button here and you need to press it manually. So I'm going to take uh, this uh, as in, so I'm going to copy it and paste it here and then I'm gonna press enter on my keyboard and now I have the list of all the SKUs uh, associated with that ASIN I can obviously also use SKU then I will have only one item uh, so I'm gonna choose one so here's the name of the item and uh, my SKU and everything so let's say I'm gonna print this one so I'm gonna click print label now this is a little bit different as you can see what i get is uh, the size that i want to print and i'll show you uh, one more step that's important so i'm going to you need to choose the your printer here so you might have a, a different printer here uh, might be i don't know the normal printer and then it will look like this so you just need to choose your printer now if you can't find your printer on this list and you definitely have it installed in my troubleshooting video I'll show you how to find it uh, then you can also click save as a PDF and save it and uh, that is important sometimes if you cannot uh, print it from here for whatever reasons there, there are some difficulties you use this method but I'm gonna use my 
time or printer. Now, as you can see, something's not right, yeah? Something's not right. So I'm, I'll show you what I need to do. I need to click on more settings, choose the label I want. Now, here's the challenge and the difference of this method. You cannot, I, I at least for myself, I do not see the same number of labels. So 11354, but I don't see 11355, 356, and many other. So that's the limitation of this method, at least I have it in Google Chrome. And uh, today is the 30th of April, 2017. Maybe that will change uh, sometime later. So I need to fix this. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change margins to minimum. Oh, that's still not good. As you can see, it's overflowing. So I'm going to change uh, margins to none. And now it's perfect. Now, with this uh, method, I need to warn you, and uh, this method produces different barcodes. I mean, not, not different in, in a way that it's a d different code, because this, this has to be the same. So they always will translate to the same, but the distribution is a bit different. They're a bit tighter and not as clear as the other barcodes. So this will not good um, so <laughs> this will not look very good on a small sticker. You need to print it on a bigger sticker and I will tell you the numbers uh, uh, in the moment, the sizes the, uh, that you need to use. Um, now, the, this, the difference between this method and the previous one is that you get the full name of the item here. So if that was like a long name, you would have have all the name here four five six lines however long it is it, it is it would be here you could read the whole name sometimes it's something that you want sometimes not so if you need uh, to have the full name here this is the way forward use this method okay and then obviously you just print a number of copies however many you want and that's it now important thing to notice here is that you can click on print the settings and you will get this window. Now, the dimensions needs to be between 25 and 100 millimeters. Um, I don't know what it says in the US, but this is at least what it says here in, in Europe, and uh, I'm in the UK. And, and here you put dimensions. Now, I recommend that the uh, smallest width dimension you use is 57 millimeters. If you have labels smaller than this, don't use this method because the barcode might not be readable unless you have a printer that prints like really really high quality print then then it's okay but with my dymo it just manages this at 57 just if it's anything smaller it will not look uh, good it will not probably will not scan very well and you don't want that because those guys in amazon warehouse will struggle with it uh, probably not a good idea so so basically that's it. Now here's the 31 millimeters and although my label is 32 millimeters, I put 31 and I will explain it later on in my troubleshooting video why it's 31 and not 32. Uh, now what labels to use? Um, I have put uh, the links under the video in the description with the links to the labels. So the one I'm using is uh, in the UK it's uh, is it this one yeah 11354 also known as 0722540 and you can see dimensions 32 by 57 please use my links uh, I will appreciate it I will get a bit of a kickback from Amazon so that will be very generous of you if you use it um, so these are the two numbers you can fi uh, find it in the UK as so 11354 and this S07 number uh, in the US, uh, you will find it as, this is the US page, uh, so you'll see it as 3334, again links underneath the video, please use my links, yeah, and you can see the same dimensions, 32 millimeters by 57, and you also have the dimensions in inches. Um, okay, so um, basically that's it, thank you for, for watching this video, and see you in the next videos, again, troubleshooting and discussing the labels in details, all the numbers, the codes of the labels, the sizes, dimensions, uh, replacements, uh, substitute or compatible stickers. I will talk all about that. Um, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Take care.